for the first roll, yeah, I go here and Fine. you go over here because normally I have a normally I have a black and yeah. white die and both. But you need to use these. Yeah, yeah. So. All right. Good match. Okay. Can I start? Okay, now. You want a break? Or? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, let's go. Good match. I just sat down. Hey. <laughs> All right. All right. Hello, backgammon fans. Bill Riles with Justin Knoll here in Monte Carlo for round of 16 undefeated. We have Morton Holm from Denmark on the bottom playing white checkers. Kingo Nakasuka from Japan on the top playing black. So both these guys are in round of 16. Yes, Kengo Nakasuka is a grandmaster from Japan, obviously, right? Oh, yeah, he's from Tokyo. So he is a GM. Mochi told me about him earlier this morning. Uh, apparently, he is very, very strong. He said he plays probably around like a 3.8 or so. So I look forward to uh, watching a bunch of strong play from this young man today. And uh, tell me something about Morton Holm. I know the name, but I don't know much about him. Well, he's from Denmark. He's a he's a legend of the game. Apparently, yeah. absolutely superb player. Uh, apparently, doesn't play much any longer. Uh, maybe this is essentially the only tournament he comes to. Oh, they're playing with that circular baffle box I've seen up on the front. I was desk. wondering what that so. was. I thought that was a coffee maker. No. <laughs> So, it's like uh, something Nick Blazier might have. To yeah, absolutely. Brew, you know? But uh, Morton is, uh, you know, well-known, long-standing player, uh, excellent player, and of course he's also the bookmaker. Oh yes, of course. That's why I know the name as well. I, <laughs> I was looking through the sheet for some five hundred to ones to bet on. You know. <laughs> now someone's asking if that is a hangover shades there. No, no, it's just bright in here. <laughs> yeah, we have some lights on the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to make the I'm at the, the final table of the, the world picture poker look tour, better. you know. <laughs> I'm all in. We'll have to talk to Tara about those lights. But uh here we go. Well this would require more than kind of testing his metal early on, you know. Fairly easy take, but uh and if the guy's a three eight player, he told me he's been playing five or six years, Nakasuka. Yeah, he's very good. So and and he's he's won what five rounds or so to get here. So um not bad. Yeah, trust me, not easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. And this is Nakazuka's first time to attend uh, the World Championship. Mine too. That is true. Good tournament. Lots of fun. Lots of downtime in between to go do stuff if you want. Yeah, that's one of the things. It's a bit of a relaxed uh, schedule. I mean, you could play continuously if you wish by playing in a lot of uh, side events and whatever. Cash games. It cash games. Those are but if available. you. Uh, want to focus and stay relaxed and so forth uh, right now you're playing two rounds uh two rounds a day 2 p.m and 10 p.m yeah i have a match at 5 30 for the doubles so that's why i'm here now waiting for the next match <laughs> okay two four so he's trying to like bide his time and leave a spare on the outside so he has a six to play next go around so he doesn't have to break the eight. He's trying to give himself a good six one so he doesn't have to leave a shot. Now Nakasuka's gonna get to depend well, on the eighteen to That's yes, what yes. uh Mr. Noel was telling me a bit earlier. Why did he do it this way? He could have played the five first and then the three? Not uh, having trouble with his baffle box here. I guess this is home construction, perhaps. Okay. I mean, I'm probably. I don't know. I'd, I'd just break the eight, but. Well, he's staring at a six prime across the board. I know, but if he starts like making the four prime the other way, now he's gonna be leaving shot. I mean, okay. This is uh, another way to do it, but. Now he could never hit the guy with his board looks like this. I don't know. Well, that's true. Of course, 
now we'll never know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, look what this does to like his racing ability as well. It's just a bunch of wasted pips there, and still yeah, a lot of crossover. Right, it's a very inefficient race as well. So I mean, I understand trying to not leave a shot, but also, you know, he must. Again, he's he's way behind, but there's so much wastage on the yeah on I mean, white. Enough, you know. It's like, <laughs> do you even stay with just one? What's he gonna do? Hit you? Yeah. You know, you could have stayed with one. I gave him a little bit of a headache bearing in because he made his board look like that. So it allows yeah. you to tactically do stuff that you might not be able to do otherwise. Yeah, but if he's gonna do that, you might not want to drive the point home that he shouldn't do it again. You know, unless it's effective. Yeah, I mean, he did it so he didn't have to leave a shot, so it's in your best interest to then just, you know, hang around, even with one, because what's the only good number after that? Double ones, maybe? You know, the guy rolls double sixes, you're shooting at a triple shot from the roof, you know? <laughs> you have a cube. <laughs> Yeah, it might have. It does look like a coffee maker, doesn't it? Yeah. One of Nick Blazer's contraptions, you know? Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> it's a. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of those 420 machines. Another one on the ace. Okay, so, I mean. Well, you're never going to miss. It's true. <laughs> double ones is just as good as double sixes for white. Yeah, I wonder if he should have just stayed back on the on the 18 now, you know, because like. Well, Jeff Hall, I think, was suggesting that, that he could just. Hmm. This could get... Uh, yeah, there's a shake here. Victor did it yesterday. Victor well, did it yesterday. A miracle shake. He had three checkers left and five left similar to this. Doesn't there's matter. no way to get double fours, so you've got sixes and fives. Five and a half percent of the time he's going to do it. Will it be now? He's asking for odds. And insurance. He doesn't get it. Not even one <laughs> off. Okay. When I, like, if I was in the finals, I would ask for insurance there, you know? <laughs> and that's the guy to be talking such things with. Yeah, you know, if you're yeah. Martin. You know, if he's going to win in the finals and it's the last roll and I've got two numbers that can win, maybe I get a little extra money, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 4 1, you hit and come down, you hit and come down. Supposed to hit and come down. Anytime you hit with the spare checker on the eight with the ace, you're supposed to bring another guy down into the zone. Looks like Morton might need to do a wee bit of refinement to his uh, yeah. baffle box. And we hit. Four one hits again. <laughs> I was trying to create her own little workspace on the corner here. Okay, five two hits again. <laughs> All right. You might as well. It's less expensive to do so. There's no spare on the eight right now, you know? So he's not really going to hit right, you with aces. It's right. going to hit you on the five if he rolls an ace. Four, six. Okay. Fours. This points. And you can make the 20. They call that a joker. 
Is that right? Yeah, they call that a joker. You can enter. I, I, I don't get them well often enough to you appreciate can... <laughs> the term. It's clearly me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, I had plenty of jokers over the, the week uh, for me and against me. The term I'm unfortunately not that familiar. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So 5-3. I think I would just come around off the 18. Just swing it around. To the 10 point. Right? Yeah, why Actually, not? it's a baffle box. I don't know whose role this is. Is this this is Morton's role? Uh, who's, who's clock's running? Morton, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, but um, Kengo isn't using the baffle box, or is he? No, he's real. Oh, good. So it makes it easier for me. Okay, so it's still right side, left side. Okay. Um, You don't normally make the 20 and the 18 together? It's not really much, you know. He'd, he'd have uh, yeah. He'd have a shot now, I think, but he doesn't. he doesn't get a shot now. Oh, he could have was thinking about running off of the, the anchor. I wouldn't. I would just play to the eight and slot six to four. Five to four huh? Yeah, I mean Maybe he's up in the race enough maybe to do up, this, but yeah, look that, at the stack here. The stack just attacks now, right? Yeah. So I wouldn't have activated that. Maybe it's right. Yeah, he's pretty much got to come out. Yeah, yeah. now he's like uh, treading water, yeah? Okay, 6-2 hits again. Then 6-4 to four maybe? Not not that I know of. No. You can play 6-4 to four, or you can go big boy play and play 7-5, to five, you know? That big boy or silly boy play maybe there maybe not big boy maybe silly boy play <laughs> <laughs> three four double hits okay okay morton knows better than to pick up one of his own checkers you know well Slide the four, I guess, huh? Yeah. Seems okay. What? Yeah. What do they got? Next is this stream one or stream two? Or on? This is stream two. We're on stream two. <laughs> okay, so we've got double fives here. See, this is the problem with having the 18 points sometimes. I mean, the 20 and the 18 together. It's like they're kind of redundant, you know? Okay. And now, if you give up this, you don't have pressure on the... Uh, you don't 14. have pressure on the 14 anymore either, you know? So it's almost like you release the, the 18 sometimes and just keep the, the 13. Just so you keep pressure on the other point as well. Yeah, yeah. No, at 10. Okay. So he does good. I like this play. He doubles at 530. Never mind. <laughs> you might. I mean, I said keep the 18 forever. Just make sure at most. Maybe. At most. Maybe. Four six, great shot. So, so get it straightened out, Arya. Actually, just from a bracket logistical perspective, just for people's information, our two streams today, which is mm. Chris Rogers and Chris Trencher on. Stream one and Kingo and Morton here. Yeah. These two winners play each other in the next round. Okay. And then you just bring three down. Oh, you can point on the guy. Okay. And then come out. 
seems reasonable. I was well, thinking about I've playing never three seen down. It structurally. <laughs> 13, yeah. 14, 15. It's kind of an odd... Uh... Yeah, I wasn't sure about making the one with the double sixes either when he rolled it. Felt like maybe I would have just brought more material down, but... Obviously it looks... Decent. Now we've had a lot of people join us since we uh, began, but... Justin had uh, related early on that uh, Nakasuka is a GM1 on yes, the CMAB yes. scale. Definitely. And uh, you talked to Mochi about him this morning. He's, what, about a 3-8 player? That's uh, what Mochi said. He said if he plays, like, uh, ar around there. So uh, quite an accomplished player. I like this play that, that Martin Holm made, just making the double anchor. That way, if he hits the other guy, you don't care, you know? Gives you plenty of... Uh, and and it's going to be awkward clearing all this yeah, stuff from the midpoint. I don't think area you need to hit. Here. I think maybe you should just make the point and let the guy roll. You know, nothing but a wide expanse in front of all these uh, trailing checker checkers there. And then slot the five. Double two is okay. Huh. Wow, this is interesting. So, I mean, generally, you don't want to start making more points in front of those double anchors because it ends up being a liability trying to clear it, you know? Well, and oftentimes it's uh, advantageous to, to stack points rather than add points uh, when you're trying to clear against it. It's funny. I, I think he's looking at just making the seven, which is like a play I'm considering also. You could also maybe make the 11 and bring the other point forward to the 9. But I'm not in love with, like, I'm not in love with the idea of making, like, the 10 point. Our know? good friend uh, Jeff Hall suggests making the bar. Yeah, that, I mean, I was considering that, making the bar, because I don't like making the points in front of something where I'm going to have to break it against the double anchor soon, you know? Mm-hmm. So here you can just come out with the four and just cover the five. And again, you don't care if you get hit. In fact, no. you need the recirculation from a timing For the perspective. timing perspective, maybe you enter on the two and then it gives him other bad numbers. Wilson. Yikes. I can see the beginning of that being how one loses this game, trying to break those outside points over the three gaps when he's got the exactly. double anchor. I mean, there, it's like a, crossing a uh, yeah. This is interesting. A wide man. expanse of water in a rowboat or something here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just has to, to to play forward. I I don't know if I can hit. The board looks too strong. I wouldn't do that though. I would just play to the six. I think. Now you don't have any spares to play with either, you know? I think it just gives you more shot levers. Yeah. Yes, he was hoping... Uh... And he has a five to play? I would play I would play down, I think. Oh. That's not... Whoa, that's a... Not a killing roll, but it's a, a, a very good roll. Well, depends how you play it, I guess. Is he going to have to go to the ace? Oh, he's going to main main. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that. Oh, seems tough. The other plays to the eight. What's that look like? All stripped. Well, doesn't he have one more to play? No, he played oh, to he the played ace. Oh, he played all the way to the ace. Well, then I like this one better. If he's playing to the ace, this I like better. this one better. But it's fraught with difficulty with all those strip points. Yeah, but now that anchors. the now that the guy on the the twenty one is gone, he might have hitting numbers. That pick and pass if you bring both of them down. So if he's going to the ace, I make the eight for sure. For sure, I make the eight if if he's going to the ace. Yeah, I mean. Uh... I think there's just more pick and pass numbers for the guy that's on the 21 as well, which I think is like your main mode of getting home. Good point. 
is to like attack and go past. Which is why I wouldn't have made the the two, I don't think. You kind of want more spares to play with in front of the anchor so your position is not so brittle. But I think going to the ace is the only way to not leave a shot. So if that's the case, I would play to the eight. Mm. Okay. He decides different. Seems okay, maybe. We'll soon know. This is a terrible number. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, this is a terrible number. This is this is no fun either. Just gonna play five one, huh? Is he? Well, it hit. I, I overlooked the hit, but do you want to hit? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how you get home. So oh. what get what gets hit here? So you get hit with four three four four. So that's three numbers, right? You get hit with five, five two, two five three five three, which is four more numbers, right? That's the seven numbers. Is that it? Seven numbers. If it's seven numbers, I might I might do it because I don't know how else you're getting home. Did anybody run this Four sticks. He missed. Nobody said anything. Yeah, no one said anything definitive, I don't think. I can't see the chat, really. It's over my left shoulders. But if you see anything, let me know. 3-1. This is great. Oh, you can hit the guy. I don't know if you should hit the guy, but you can hit the guy. This seems like a decent time to try to get home. I'd have to run the numbers again. How many times do you get you hit? You're thinking you'd hit the guy? A lot of returns, though. Well, I mean, okay, so, but, but fives hit here and fours hit here, and fives and fours enter. So there's yeah. the duplication there, right? So okay. you're worried a, the also then about. So, harsh, so five, five four, double four. fives. I guess you're going to get hit by double fours, which is four numbers, right? Then you're going to get hit by four, one, and five, one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Eight numbers? It was just seven a second ago. One more? Well, what are you going to roll? What are you going to do for your next trick then? The only way you don't leave more numbers next time is by rolling doubles. Maybe it's ten numbers? Is it more than that? Mochi. Says... Oh, four six hits as well. Yeah. Well, that's why he's Mochi. Mochi's watching his comment uh, watching his uh, countrymen here. I'll tell you one I'll tell you one thing. One six doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I know this for sure. Now you're doing good. Okay, he lets it go. Yeah. But Mochi, you hit though, yeah? Okay, good. Yeah, someone does. Right, someone does. Right, just hit. Yes. He just corrected my counting. <laughs> Mochi said he wasn't sure if it was right. But... Well, that also means he wasn't sure it's wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> Glass is half full. Or right? five six is a hitter. See, these are the type of matches where, like, uh, I go back and I put the XG feed on the side afterwards because there's nobody doing it now. But I don't have to do post-match commentary because I'm doing in-match commentary currently. Yeah. It makes post pretty neat. It makes post-production so much easier. Okay. He doesn't like your lights. 
No, no, the lights are good for her, but it's I, I just it's the, <laughs> my eyes are sensitive oh, to the no. sun. <laughs> I, I wear my sunglasses at night. Uh and during the day. And inside. Okay. Level There's fives a... is not a good shake. Moves a lot of pips but doesn't develop anything. In fact, it's kind of counterproductive in development. <laughs> this makes the ace. And I guess I come down yes. to the eight for sure. And then the other one I think about. I don't know. Two, four, I think two, I, three, I'll bring two, another to the eight. If he wants to two, give up his two, midpoint to hit me, let him do it. It's just a lot less flexible when it comes to making those inner board points right. afterwards, though, right. right? Correct. And then if you roll the number to make an inner board point, you're going to be leaving that guy there again anyway. So I probably would bring it down, even though it likely gets hit more. In that last game, guys Just saying that double, flexibility. The double five that Kingo played was uh, 179 error. Which one? The double five. Remember he, he went to the... Uh, Oh, yeah, you should have came down, yeah. Yeah, it looked way better to come down. 179 error. So there goes the PR. You know? Well, yeah, you say that for me the other day, too, you know? It's so much easier for me to see the board from this angle than sitting over the... With the, the pressure of the moment. Yeah, it was tough. I played ZZ in round one and won that one. I played like a 2-5 in the transcription. And then I get on stream and play like a donkey, you know? So uh, there's something about being in front of the lights and the camera and... Oh, and that, oh, that was Oliver Squire you played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Oliver, by the way. Like, uh, great player. Pretty good. I guess Mochi, nice Mochi's watching from his room or whatever. Michael Krakus is saying hello from Beausoleil. So he's up. He hadn't yeah, bothered yeah, to come down either. Okay. I was just up there. That's where I got this Red Bull. <laughs> hey, looking for your endorsement there, huh? Sign me up. I'll jump out of an airplane with a backgammon board and some dice, and then go scuba diving after. <laughs> Chris Trencher was attacked by a jellyfish. Uh, this yeah. Jeez. Jason Trent Pack was attacked by a jellyfish as well. <laughs> I wish fish would attack me. They do over at the board, though. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think Trencher was just uh, trying to bank an excuse, do you, in case he loses? No. <laughs> no, definitely not. What? He went to the deuce. Uh oh. That move is not in my repertoire, especially with the guy's structure with the way it is on the other side of the board. He would have to hit me with a combo shot, and there's a blot on the deuce. I would just play flexible for the future. I can't put a checker on the two point like this. Because I don't expect to roll good numbers coming home. Oh, man, we got it. Jeff Hall, Mochi, Michael Krakus, GL Harvey has uh, joined the room. My mother is in the chat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hi, Mom. You know, that's why we, uh, one of the advantages of putting you on stream two. Yeah. Is we... You know, stream one has the XG feed, but that knocks out the commentator cam. Ah. Here. They can your, see me texting my mother. Can, uh, they can, can see, see me texting you, you know? my mom. I tell her I'm on stream. Hey, mom. <laughs> okay. My mother is. She, your Mrs. Null is protecting humanity. Or, she's protecting uh, the house back in London. Um, she's, uh, my mother, on the other hand, is protecting the home back in New Hampshire. Are you from New Hampshire? Yes, born and raised. You and GL, huh? He was born in New Hampshire as well. Oh, uh, he's born in Montreal, I think. But doesn't he have a? Doesn't he live in New Hampshire? Is it Vermont? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, they're interchangeable, aren't they? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> GL's Montreal and Vermont. You know the big difference: Ben and Jerry's ice cream. That's the big difference. I, I won't hold that against you. That's the uh, the Vermont uh, ice cream.
Okay, yeah, I'm not leaving that shot there. But why is he not just slotting the five and playing the two down, yeah? Just prepare like for you contact could, you in the could future. You put a lot of a lot more uh, complications for him. Okay, so this next roll, you're not going to hit anybody, right? Because you've got two blots in your board. But, like, uh, maybe on the next few rolls, you'll get a, another shot and you'll have a better board here. Might he even, I don't know. Might he even step up to the 20? I mean, that is a consideration. But he's worried about getting pointed on. I see why he's not doing it, though I might have done it a while ago. I like to harass the guys out there because now he just feels comfortable sitting there, right? Yeah. I, I Force him to roll something good, you exactly. know? Force I, him to roll 5-3. Force I him to roll 5-1. I would seriously five, entertain the thought of stepping up to 20. You know, now if he rolls 4-2, right? Now he would make the 4, but then he'd have a direct shot, right? So, right. like, you got to force the guy into spots where he has to roll something. Okay, yeah, that's, is, that's, I think yeah. that's relatively easy. Well, he's looking at his board, right? But now there's a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unless you play six to two again, Joe Cool as well. New Hampshire, of course, live free or die. My uh, my state's motto, the most gangsta of all the state mottos, in my opinion. So you should you should just leave the shot here, right? The guy's got two blots in his board. The question is, yeah, how you do it? Okay, you could do this. I was thinking maybe slot the four. it, but there's the two points, two blots come into play. I was thinking holding the point and maybe slotting the four with the two blots, duping the aces that could cover the deuce as well. Two, three, hits twice. To... But this seemed to have worked out. Five, three, three comes five. right in. Six, two. He hits twice again. Now he really needs a five. That is not a five. Two, one. Yeah. There's the five. There's the five. Just needs two more. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. man. Okay, there's a chance to anchor. He would just like Get to have that back in the game. Okay, anchor. three comes in. Don't fan again. Okay, good. And attack. Uh-oh. Smells like trouble. He's making a habit of fanning on a... Makes the four. Two, three-point board. Double sixes. Five five covers. Does all of the things. Yeah, Jill, that's a dual function device. Jill, Jill wants to know if you can drink martinis out of that baffle box. I would just play bar. down with the six, maybe, yeah? Yeah. No risk, two up. They use those baffle boxes in Amsterdam for something else, I think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those dice tubes, they remind of that game with the sticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, the marbles yeah, in yeah, it or something? Whatever the name of that was. I forget was. what that one was called. I remember that, yeah. Hey, this could get expensive if... Uh... Three, and then I would go six to one. Don't need to make anything awkward for yourself. You're winning a gammon basically every time you're not hit, so pre-clear that guy. Yeah. Okay. One, two. One off and four. Mm -hmm. Three, and then just rip it off, yeah? Yes, I think so. Keeps even number on the back, so too. Six, one still plays fine. Five, one is fine. Four, one is fine. I guess only 6-5 leaves a shot, right? Is that right? 3-2. Mm -hmm. I would just clear both points, maybe. Just safe, safe. 
Five one, maybe, maybe a big double. There's a BG. Yeah, I mean, there's. Possible. Oh, I'm sorry. That's well, not, not big quite enough. big enough. Not big enough. <laughs> Almost a prescient call there. I know, I know, I know. I feel bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still possible. He rolls an ace. Okay, five four. Oh. There's still a two one possibility if he rolls another double. But that could never happen. Okay, never mind. Kidding. Well, still the two one possibility and another oh, double. Right. But oh, okay. So. Bill, what do you know about 15 away, 12 away? Not much. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I haven't got to that chapter yet. Yeah, yeah, it's it's in the theory of backgammon, I think. Six, three runs. Think about this tournament, those 17 point matches, they're long and brutal and intense. They are. Wow, what do you do here? So, do you slot? Split. Yeah. I don't know. I might have gone for the slot. I like the slot uh, with that big stack on the six. But I'm not sure of its uh, level of correctness. But I, if I rolled six one there, I would have slotted for sure. Big no. three's a hitter. Next round. You can hit on either one. I think I would hit with the other one. I hit with the other one because you get hit back less from the roof, right? You hit with this one, they yeah. only hit you back with twos. You hit the other one, they hit you back with threes and ones. Right. Three and one sounds like twice as many numbers as two. What do you think? I mean, Makes sense to me. Logically speaking. <laughs> You see? Okay. Mm -hmm. But which one is he going to roll? Okay, neither. No, he the did roll a he one. He rolled the ace. He rolled the four one. He did. He would have hit him. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not slotting because I'm likely to be attacked. So I'd probably play 24 to 23. That way, if he uses... The builder on the eight to point on you, you have uh, a more, shot back at him. Yeah, you see. Good point. Good. Good. Uh... Okay. I make the structure, I think, and just maybe step up. Uh, I know you can point on the guy. Yeah. I've been tempted to. I don't know. Something Make about a four nine, crime no. makes me feel good about myself. Yeah. You know, here you get hit back with fives, you get back with twos, right? You could make a four prime. Four primes are good. What about it? What about it? I'm not confident about this, though. Four. Okay, a lot of potential here for Morton on this roll. Oh, this is interesting. You gotta run. I think you run. Gotta you play run. with the one blot on the. Yeah, if he rolls a bar. five, he rolls a five. Good for him. But if you do this, then you have one guy back, and he's gonna start building in front of you. Yeah. And you're playing with two blots. Sir. Yeah, so you just escape from Alcatraz and worry about the details later. And he has to give up the anchor to hit you anyway. If you have to kill a guard, you kill a guard. It's fine. He's asking me to help commentate, but I'd like to get a call. Oh, okay. You got some coffee in the In a private room. Or you can show you. Okay. Two, three. Okay, Jeff. Not their own break, I think, but. 
I'm playing down. I think I'd play down. I mean, you want to make the five later, right? Who's to say you don't roll something worse next time? You only get with three six and three five. Maybe you make the five. Hmm. Yeah, double, no transcription, no commentary. Could do commentary. Just go with the board mic. But I don't care. We can do it. Doesn't matter to me. Doubles, no commentary sounds fun because you can hear the players, yeah? Yeah, we can turn up the board mic. Yeah. Yeah. I had a seven pointer. My first doubles match yesterday ended in one game on a four cube gammon with a win, though. <laughs> Okay. I, t yeah. I take. I mean, he hasn't made the five, and there's a blot on the one. Like, okay. Nice take, I think. Okay. Oh, Man. it's a one. <laughs> I knew it would be a one. Need to polish this off, not as good. <laughs> polish off some edges on that. Uh... Yeah, I don't have much of a preference here. Okay, now. Five, five. Five. We're moving too fast. It's a little too quick. I think you just have to play down with both. I don't think you can go to the ace. No, I, I think you play down and just uh, not a particularly attractive future. Yeah, I mean, maybe he doesn't make it, you know? Okay, he's trying it's to keep it reasonable. I don't know. I mean, you're up in the race. You don't need to leave the shot. I mean, well, that uh, created the complication that he perhaps hoped for. Yeah. I mean, I just hate. You know, I I don't think I ever could have put the the checker behind the two point in this position. I, I don't like making these points behind. You can do this right now. Is this too expensive? I I don't know. I mean, you're going to have a tough time bringing this home if you don't make the five and the points that are in front of the anchor. I don't like using my, my checkers, putting them behind anchors. You hit with one, six, three, four, and three, six. Okay, this is safe for now, but like, you will uh, fix five next time too, okay? So then yeah. <laughs> well, and, you and there's probably next time, there's you know? probably no uh, reason for him to necessarily leave with a checker on the mid next time, so it's going to offer you some complications trying to clear the fourteen. Yeah, I mean, it's like trying to tiptoe on glass, though. You know, it's still glass. Yeah. You know, you try to tiptoe on it, you're still going to break only through. Get, you only get cuts on your toes, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you got to have a more robust position to really fill in these gaps because these phantom points will cause your position to break. I mean, I don't expect myself to roll double ones afterwards to start filling these things in. Our friend Casper Vondertak says he'd make the ace. Who? Really? E. I can't do it. <laughs> can't see it, huh? I mean, oh, I see it now. I was, <laughs> I, I, I just, my, my glasses were blocking it, apparently. 
Yeah, I mean, I know it leaves shots, but... Good. I, okay, so, so some of the merits of this play are that it forces that guy on the 13 to move, right? Maybe. Because now the, there's there's an additional cost of, of getting hit once you make the board, yeah? Okay, he resigns himself to making that play. Doesn't look like he didn't. He, he didn't. He wasn't proud of it. Yeah. But uh, I think he would have been missed though. It's like the field goal would have landed yeah, right yeah, in between yeah. both. And then maybe you fill in the five, and then things go smooth on the way home. But I would certainly be tempted to leave that guy on the thirteen point. The cost of getting hit is high, but I mean, yeah, you do get shots with some numbers. I mean, things do play awkwardly unless he rolls the well, two. Well, he kind of forces his hand on how to play certain numbers as well. Yeah, but I, I think it just makes his board look a little funny. I guess you could have just made the one, but I, I do like this. I mean, you, you might get fly shots. He could roll 5-4 or something silly in the outfield now. and. So you only get hit with three six here. So you should bring the other one down. Down. Gotta bring it down. Yeah, it's the fewest number of shots. You only get hit twice here. You've got, yeah. The problem, like I said before, is that like, you know, now he can't really make the five with anything but six one and double ones, you know? So here you're gonna have to bring this to the seven, and the other two comes to the the nine, right? So you're giving right. six one and three four, but you could have solved this problem a while ago, and then your your numbers might have already filled in the five. You know, it's not like you're not leaving shots right the rest of the way. You were, and you still got two points to make in there. You just have less builders now to to get it all done with. Five forced. Yeah, he would like to make the three or the five. How about neither? Rut row. Oh. This smells shot time. What what could go wrong, huh? That ace point is like a magnet for those checkers, huh? And there you are, you know? Hey. It's funny when you make plays sometimes to try to not leave shots, how often it leads to brittle positions that just leave more shots. Yeah. And I know he rolled the anti joker of all anti jokers. But uh it's a theme. And he closes and hops out. And he's got a few gammons here. Not a ton, but a few, not, yeah. Not a ton, but... Mochi would have, like, a, a good estimation of numbers. So with one guy closed out in perfect distribution, you might have, like, 3 to 4%. Here you might have, like, 10, maybe. If you have good distribution, maybe, maybe a little less. <laughs> She's got we'll see where this her, guy lands. Color-coded headphones here for stream one and stream two so oh that's smart listen to the commentary oh what a good roll five yeah. three five two two men off four men off how many two men off yeah yeah four two or two you have to break you got to clear the six all right let's see if he can enter nope no. not this time Two one. Okay, you you, you play big here. You yeah, you take it off. Yeah, it's not not that big. His board is Swiss cheese, so you're you're playing for the gammons here. So when when White's board looks like this, and you know that getting hit uh -oh. often won't cause you to lose. All right, he's holding the cube. He gets hit, he can just double him, right? Yeah. So it's it's not a big deal. So I would, you know, you could. Uh, you just keep playing. I mean, you can cash him out any time. Here's the question: Are are you leaving him two extra numbers to hit you, or are no. you ripping the checkers off? You're not. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I am. He has nothing over here. Well, you know why I'm doing it, though, right? Because why? I'm holding the cube. So I'm just playing for the gammon. If he hits me, I I win it regardless anyway. I would have. Oh, you see? Maybe take the other checker off. You get closer to that G. Yeah, had he taken, had he taken well. the other shot. Or taken the other Rip checker. It. Let's go. Okay, eight checkers. He's in. He's in. And could, now this G is a real possibility. Could go south fairly easily. 
I mean, one set. 5-2, okay. He's getting there. It's close. He should be able to get off this has if he a, rolls has decent. A, has a shake for it. 5. Now, which ace? Let's think about this. Well, I gotta go through the numbers, though. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna be it. It's gotta be, no. Maybe put it's it, four put to it three. back and it gives you five. I think it's four three. Put that back. Okay, double fives on. get off anyway. So and play six four three. Five is fine. Six four is fine. Six three is fine here. Six two you miss. Six one is fine. Five five you're gonna miss if you play this play. Correct. That's what I say. Move it back. Play um, four three. But then yeah. Here. Four or five is fine. Well, he's going. Five, he's going through all the numbers. You miss so with he... five three, but if you go back, you'll you'll take off with five three. Uh, you miss with five two anyway. Five one is fine. Four three. Uh, yeah, I think you have to play four to three. No, they're playing. You have to play four to three. That's right. Uh, your transcriber's on break. What is he? A member of a union? Is he? He's a, a union member. <laughs> you have a break every every ten games. I vote for you. <laughs> Transcriber. Oh no no. To... So MCG told me one day, you you never. In these spots where you're thinking about playing an ace, it's never beneficial to play six to five. Oh no, he didn't play four to three. Ooh. I think you're supposed to play four to three, I think. Oh, he survives. Just enough. Just just barely. But it would have worked anyway. Uh. But I, I never th I don't yeah. I remember I was playing with MCG one day and I, I ended up playing like I didn't count through all the numbers because I didn't really feel like it. it was, I don't think it was high stakes. And uh, I think I played six to five, and then he gave me some lesson about it. About how wrong I was. <laughs> Great. Naveed taking a break. You know, transcriber taking a break. What if I go out at lunch and bring you back a, like a leg catheter? Yeah. <laughs> Here. <laughs> a leg catheter and uh, a flask. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ace might have been better from uh, 24 to 23 this time too. I always think of that when I see the stripped eight point. It's like one of those patterns to look out for, you know? Yeah. So Casper asked uh, how good is Kengo and he is a GM. Mochi said he is average PR, he believed was like a 3.8, I think. So, yeah, he's very good. It was over two, a little lower. Any. He has three, two three more. Five. Make the nine. Yeah, this looks good. I just, re yeah. I just refreshed it. Five three. Two and okay. six. Okay. So, Bill, let me ask you: Is it crazy to just play thirteen to eight, twenty three to twenty, and just step into the jaws of the beast? I like to redistribute well, you, my you, spares. You like to uh, wedge something into the jaws of the beast on well, occasion. Well, here, so... Here's my thought: if he makes, if he makes the five point, regardless of whether or not I'm there, I'm kind of in trouble anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So why not take the opportunity to try to make that advanced anchor and let him hit you loose? Maybe you hit back in the melee. You know. So I, I like the five down and then going 23 to 20, just because I think, you know, it helps your distribution. You're starting to put checkers in spots where they need to go for maybe future development. You're 
Well, and it just, complicates his life a little bit. Right now, he can play fairly freely. Listen, if the, the guy rolls 4-1, you're in trouble anyway. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, like, you might as well... This is just an extra shot. The 8 point is a valuable point. You're not making anything new. You're just changing points yeah, here. Yeah, you're just exchanging one point for another. I don't even know if the 3 point's an upgrade. You're just leaving a shot. Okay, so the guy rolls 5-1 the other way, and then you roll a 5 and hit him back, and you're just much better off because you took the chance, yeah? Okay. 4-3 fans, though. 3-1 makes it. Wow. Perfecta. Now... It's a long match, Another but trailing 7-2. Morton, entertain any aggressive thoughts here? He can do what he wants. Uh, I know what I'm doing from the other side. This makes the anchor. That's a great shot. Now if he fans, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it. Maybe he should have thrown it anyway, but maybe it was too easy. Now he's got nothing. Nothing. Ah, someone's asking for Justin's opinion. Justin, do you regret your time management against Oliver? I mean, I'm up 12 points. I thought the match was going to end sooner than uh, than it did, you know? <laughs> I was like, I've got plenty of time, you know? Like, uh, what's going to happen? The kid's going to come all the way back and, you know? <laughs> to be fair, I ended with more time than Oliver. <laughs> but with fewer points. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, not exactly the desired uh, result. Uh, do I regret it? No. Do I plan to play differently next time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I leave the word, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yes, but no. <laughs> Let's say uh, the safest answer in backgammon, and double, du I double take uh, for the answer to the question. <laughs> Gotta be kind of uh, frustrating to be the uh, on the losing side of the most memorable match of the tournament so far. You know? No, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's fine. I mean, I've lost. Uh... Okay, it is. <laughs> Martin <laughs> sent it across. Mm. Wait, Martin cubed who? Martin cubed Kingo. Okay. I would just double slot, yeah. Mm. Sure. I, I would make the point and leave the shot. No, just make the point, I think. Okay. I don't know. I mean, that point doesn't do you any good, though, does it? Well, no. And this is flexible to try to make the other points as well. I guess this does give you more flexibility to make, like, the 7 or the 8 on the next roll. So, no, maybe, yeah. Maybe I like this play better. I have changed my mind. Five, that two. Makes the eight. Yeah, exactly. Now, that's... Uh... Yep. Six two, you break the eight. Got to go to something. Double twos. Hmm. I think you just no. You bring the other guys down. You just make the nine. I think. I think so because he if he rolls a six next roll. You may have a chance yeah. at a third checker. And you want to give him a 6-1 to play, I think, too, you know? Because 6-1 won't play the other way. Right. And here you give him the 6-1 as well, yeah? But you don't break the 18 at all because you, you want to get more contact. So maybe this or maybe maybe you bring two. Yeah, this is this is how I would do it. Yeah, that's a real well, that's a real consideration actually just coming out. I mean
Okay, I'm gonna vote for just coming out. <laughs> Why don't we have XG analyses on both streams? Because it takes a lot of resources. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need like uh, a don a donation button before the tournament for the the hiring of another transcriber for stream two. Yeah, you'd have to have another transcriber, and if you have two and two transcribers, you almost have to have a third as a backup, a relief relief pitcher. Well, yeah, because because of the transcriber union, we were talking. Yeah, about yeah, her. well, and um, you know, you have to have another dedicated computer. You do. Um, it's just, uh, I think you got to run. Ari. I, I, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you can do anything else, but just try to just take your chances. Yeah. Cause you're leaving a shot anyway. Your board's going to be crunching. You're going to be stuck back there. Your board's going to break. You're going to be forced off and you might get gammoned anyway. Yeah, somebody said they'd put this roll on XG and not coming out is a big blunder. Yeah, I mean, it looks clear because anything else just looks worse. Yes, yeah, least of least of evils, right? Well, if you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, you're damned in both spots, so you might as well try to win, you know? But I can understand the, the nervousness of the situation. 136 blunder playing 13-2. Ooh, goodness. I believe he's going to bite the bullet and just do it. Nike, right? Just do it. Just through the air. That's like, you don't have to like it. You just have to do it. You got to take your medicine, you know? You don't like it that bad? You shouldn't have rolled it. <laughs> the thing is, he knows it. He knows it. You can you can see it in his, in his body language that he knows it, but he's just afraid of doing it. Yeah. Because he's worried that like the guy's just gonna roll boxes or something. Well, or if, he, if he thinks about this much longer, I think he might make it. Ow! <laughs> well, that's a good plan. I management, right? Yeah. Yeah, you missed that one. It's just the the nerves of it all, you no, know. No, leave it on the ace. So you, well, no, I, don't I like know. this better. I guess so. Because it's just a liability. And it, you don't want to leave with a five anyway, so. Unless it's those. Unless it's those. And plus you kill your sixes, which is actually good for your timing. Correct. Because you're not like really, Correct. you're not really going to win. And you don't want to have them you know? the, on the ace and the deuce where you might get well, the trapped off the has, other. When you, yeah, exactly. You might get trapped off of it and it just increases the chance of you getting gammoned. It ends up being a liability at a point, yeah? Uh, Mochi offering Sage of Ass advice. Kingo san, you cannot become world champion by playing safe. Yeah. And you can't become a father by wearing condoms. Uh, Sorry, that's a, that's, 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 that's a joke for the other screen with this more, more joke. <laughs> that's more sage advice. <laughs> Sorry, rewind, delete, edit. That was my fault. I'm going to go PG on the rest of the way. But, you know, it's funny because you see it's his first instinct when he looks at it. He knows it's right. Yeah. But, like, can you do it in the moment? You know, it's like it's, it's tough. Sometimes you just got to pull the trigger on it. <laughs> Mochi, come downstairs. Yeah. Mochi, come downstairs. <laughs> you have been summoned. <laughs> leading what? Okay. Trencher's leading 7 4 with Rogers. All right. Oh. I think, oh, do you yeah. hit? No. I don't so think you do. Over maybe there. he comes in, but maybe he enters with an ace, which would be worse. So he either gets out of your hair or he enters lower. Two, three, hmm. four, five. Okay, I'm not going to hit the guy. 
Am I gonna hit the guy? Thank you were watching from both sides. Okay, okay. Oh, so maybe he comes in over your head, but maybe he enters with an ace, and then it's worse. But you hit, maybe your gammons go up. But are there how many gammons? Are there anybody stacked on top of those checkers or no? No. I think there is. Though. I think there is. Yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah, the top two look. I like wish they would use a, the trays for the looks like the, there's the checkers a on. annular space on the top two there. You forgot where it was, I think. Or, I don't know. I'm not sure. No, I think he's fine. But there we yeah, go. Yeah, that's what I thought. One, two, three, four rolls. Here, Jeff Proctor is in the house. First time I've seen Jeff uh, say anything on the chat line this week. No, he's just thinking of the roll. No, one, one guy isn't using it, I don't think. One guy is using it. Kingo's using the cup. Uh, he doesn't Mochi it. says we need to re replace uh, Justin after that off-color comment. <laughs> 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 it's like the the Phil jokes, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, GL, we had five uh, five Yanks in the final sixteen undefeated. So uh, so you a, you hit you pick up a few more G's, but like I don't know, you might lose more games. He could enter on the ace. And then some of your... Okay, he leaves it down. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, that beats it, so... Uh... Yeah, exactly. He didn't know if he was going to hit him or not. Mochi says he's eating a nice meal and will come later. Huh? Okay, so uh, So he said okay. the hit was okay. It was correct by two and a half percent. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Kind of yeah. Over an hour into it, an entertaining, nice match so far. I think well played. Oh, you can hit this guy. Yeah, this is better. And I would just take the guy off of the eighteen point. Yeah, I'll I'll send Tara out, Gio. Can you can you check the status of Frigo Victor and Sachs? Who else? Um, what is it? Who's the fifth American? Frigo sit. Uh, Frigo uh, Dianz Minas. You walk around and see what those scores are. Yeah. Okay, Jill, Tar's going to go take a stroll, get us an update. Tony, Frigo, Sax, and Victor. And they're all over there on the far row, one through eight. <clears throat> they're all on one row of tables, so it'll be easy for, although it is the furthest. The table's farthest from here, but uh, be easy to get them all in one. Yeah, Victor. Victor always plays on table one. Apparently, he was right at the top of the draw. Yeah. So he he's always on table one. Is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. It just, it just he just happened to be at 
number two on the on the draw on the bracket. They start the table numbers from the top. <laughs> two three points. Three six fans. Okay. He five two. Uh, five two two down. Uh, oh no, you can hop out. I'm out maybe. Oy, okay. I like that. Hmm. So the two just did this. So what if you play two down? What is this here? Hmm. Oh, this looks like uh, a cube now, yeah? I thought it... Yeah, particularly now, I, I kind of had inclinations a, a, a row or two ago. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, being behind the four prime is a big deal. Mochi says cube. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm in good company then. But not the roll before, though. I thought it was too much. But here, I mean, you just roll a five. The guy's dead again, so... <laughs> So, like, what constitutes market loss here, right? Okay. Like, if you just leap the prime okay. and get missed, you've missed your market by Here's your updates. Yeah. Peter Jess Thompson leads Tony Diet, whatever it is, Diet to meet uh, 11 7. Sax is behind. Uh, who's nice Sachs cube. Playing? I didn't even recognize him. Sax is trailing 9 5. Double twos makes the four. And yes, this one. Maybe you make the six prime. Oh. John Barnes is leading 7 5 over somebody. 6 4. We make the six prime, I think. Victor's up 8 6. Oh my goodness. I have a hard time not making the six prime, though I can totally see the benefit of just running okay. around. Frigo is oh. leading here two to one. Thank okay. you, Tara. Maybe I maybe I maybe I forego making the six prime and just run around. You got it all to play from here? Yeah, I mean you can hit with one, two, and double two. I, I'm running and two six. I'm running. Uh, what do you say? No, oh, got that money. Wow. Am I really not making the six prime here? Am I really just running around? I'm leaving two six. I'm leaving two one, right? Ugh. I'm leaving double twos. Double twos is like devastating. The other way, if I make the anchor, okay, I could be counter primed if he enters. Maybe I run around. Maybe I maybe I just forego making a six prime for the first time in my life. I'm going around. I'm, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's hard for me. I, I like six primes. Six nice. primes win games, I think. Kingo you know? seems but to be... To you could be the, trapped uh, there afterwards. You could roll double fours like an idiot and bust or something stupid too, you know? He seems to... His time management seems to be pretty well. He plays... I mean, relatively quickly but he's not he's not intimidated to burn a lot of time when it's necessary you know i burn time when it's not necessary i know that's a difference in you i have narcolepsy sometimes i'm just like hmm the problem is i'm counting and i'm like what's the count again and i count again oh if you rolled six five this would have been much easier uh -huh. yeah <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Had you rolled up six, it would have been easier. Even yet, <laughs> easier. Even easier. <laughs> I mean, staying, staying behind. I mean, even small one becomes dangerous. Okay, he goes around the corner with it. And now the Fogerlund. The no, Fogerlund. Okay. <laughs> Two, three from the bar. I mean, that's what if you're the other one. Okay. Makes it. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah. 
Okay, make the make the prime and slot the next one. Now double sixes. Six five. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. Just... Okay, so you're gonna lose some games if you do it, but there's a lot more gamins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then lead your you, lead yourself not into temptation. Well, well here's the problem with oh, not doing it, it is that you might have to hit loose, and then you might get hit back later when the guy has right, the prime, right? right? So right. all you have to fade here is the one six. When that never happens, right? Good play, Kingo. One six. He doesn't even want to give double ones. <laughs> Funny thing is, if you roll double ones next time, uh, it's not so pretty. Four one, it's still it's still there. <laughs> Give him the double one. Oh, pardon me. Two four. No. Four and then five. Yeah, he doesn't want to stack them, so he plays it this way. There's one number he doesn't want to see. That's not it. That's a good one. Six five was correct by point. Forty millipoints. That's good. We got a good track record here, you know? The six five from earlier, the double fives from earlier, right? Uh, Not that I'm keeping score or anything, you know, but uh Yeah, you seem to have neglected any assets in the other column, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, shot time. Okay. Shot time. Now I'm not leaving a shot. The other time I would have, because I was holding the cube, this time I'm not. Fewer shots the better. And then the two comes in. And now he's on his way to... Is he on his way to Gammon City? Oh, double ones! Man. Two, six. That's my favorite position in backgammon right there on the black side. Is it? Okay. Yeah, Ray knows that one. <laughs> double five. See that what you said? Ray knows that position? Tara. Tara, you're not on camera. You can't... See. Apparently another break. What's the chat saying on our stream? Oh, is that stream frozen? Yeah, it wasn't uh, refreshing. I did hit live and it's doing this stuff. Okay, there it refreshed. Nine six uh, Roger or nine six Trencher. I'm sorry. And ours. 11-4, Kingo. Something about you saying, uh, I don't know, how prescient you were. Some, I don't remember what it was, but Jill said, yeah, it's the shades. Yeah, it's a superpower now. I'm wearing them forever. If you uh, commentate here much, you may need to bring some... Uh, some sunscreen. Sunscreen for the head <laughs> there, you know what I mean? Sunscreen in the hotel is only 250 euros. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a deal. They probably sell a lot of it, too, because there's a lot of exposed skin on a lot of women. <laughs> I haven't noticed. I'm wearing shades, and I'm married man. No names will be <laughs> divulged, but uh, apparently I saw... Uh, a prominent player conducting some commercial activity in the lobby late last night. <laughs> and we'll get some more info off stream. <laughs> Okay. Maybe you run. Maybe you run. 
I certainly don't want to stay there you with got, it looking you like got that. got a lot of development going on there. Yeah, I mean, this and seems he's trailing like, big. He's, this seems like the normal move to do this. That to make go the eight point. six. Give it another it up. Had the, it had the funny feature of like duping the three, you know. Oh, I don't want to step up into the activate the nine. Because point. now, now you might be looking at getting a cube. I think you're. Uh, I think I would not at all be surprised getting a cube. You know, because like uh, you're trailing by a billion. I don't know. Maybe it's only one guy back. I mean, but if he steps there, I'm cubing for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Here it comes. I have a gift for you, and his name is Le Cube. Uh, yeah. If you apology, there, apolo if apologies, apologies for not wrapping your gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got something for you. The second you go twenty-three to the twenty-one, I've got something for you. Casper's response to this is eleven five. No, but he <laughs> takes it up. The response to this might be 11-8. <laughs> He's just taking the world, much he says. Come on, Kingo. But you still get the gift. Oh, nice Ooh, shake. Nice shake. Now to the 11. We'll put that mini in play. Kingo does not. No, if you know you're going to be hit back, likely, I don't leave extra blots. And here you just come out. Five five, nice shake. Oh man. He always seems to have this this looking structure though on the other side. Five four, five, but four. he's so far advanced. You might not want the forward anchor. You may need to stay back. Err. Wow. So, no, I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe you go four and then you just go five and come out from the 18. I don't know. That's a shot somewhere, is it not? Okay. What are we doing? Take a picture of the bracket. Okay, okay. Car's gonna go take a picture of the bracket. We are going to stream a doubles match at uh, 5 30. One doubles, doubles match? match. I'm not, I, I don't know. She's gonna go. I have no idea. I'm just playing. I have no idea. Are you in the doubles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's Wesley Howell. So yesterday we played doubles. Howell is my partner with a Nowell, me, when we played a Powell. It was Nowell, Howell, and Powell. But Powell's teammate was not uh, Cowell, so, like, he ruined it. Simon was busy? Yeah, he must have been. <laughs> Telling people how bad of a singer they were. So he has double fours to play, yeah? This is not a problem. This is a good thing. Hmm. Does he have all of them to play, yeah? I think. Okay, I would slot the deuce. That's a start, huh? All the way, slot to deuce. Oh, oh they only, only two, two. More. Okay, okay, well, then I do that then. <laughs> yeah. Six, uh -oh. five. That's a That's nice, nice isn't it? But he doesn't have much flexibility, hence fourth. Yeah, well, he seems to be rolling the numbers then and getting missed, so I, you know. No, I'd hold on to the mid for one more shake. Give him a little more trouble. Okay. This is not a shot. Five and then four. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Let him play. His play is legal, right? Yes. What's the problem? Did he put it somewhere else I missed? No, I, I thought it was legal. Okay. From the get-go. Four and then two down. Two down. 205 take is a 168 double. Yes, of course the double is clear. 
Cake is also clear. Oh. Ouch. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, and go to the six. No. Double fours gets you hit. Double fours gets you hit. Double threes does not get you hit. You go down to the seven, yeah, double yeah, fours doesn't yeah. get you hit. Ah. I saw it out of the corner of my glasses. I didn't know. Uh, Mochi says there was an illegal play on that one they were messing around with earlier. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, okay, so when I played in there, they asked about if we wanted legal moves and if they noticed something illegal, if they wanted the transcriber to help. Yeah, but they and, this and we is agreed. On, this is on table. Oh, two. there's no transcriber. Okay, okay. Well, it makes it much easier for a legal play. Ah, uh, he had missed. Then. They, Morton corrected an illegal play. Oh, so okay. it was corrected then. Okay. Very okay. Good. good. Very good. If you guys can, I see only 28 likes on this video, unless we can refresh that. That's right. Hit that like button. Make Mark uh, Olson happy. Twenty-eight. Every it time is. you press the like button, you get an extra galaxy coin in V two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Five four. That's a start. It's a start. It's better to be in than not be in. Double ones. One, two, three, four. That's a nice number. Six, three. Okay. Yeah. yeah just run that you gotta one. Run that. You got to just stay and be take, a pain in the butt a little bit. Much as you can be. Although it feels like he's going to roll two, three, though, right? Or something, you know? Yeah. And I, I mentioned earlier, some of y'all may not have heard it or have joined us since, the... The winner of this match plays the winner of the Stream 1 Chris Rogers Chris Trencher match in the uh, quarterfinals. Mm. We're down to named ground quarterfinals of the. Uh, I will say. <coughs> undefeated bracket. You don't really want to roll anything with a two. Six one's a nice number. Uh oh, we're having extortion here. Extortion? Take, take off your shades and he'll hit the like button. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do it, but I want you to know I'm Cyclops lasers. <laughs> okay. So now he has another six two to play. So now you come off the twenty, and you stay on the twenty one as well. Yeah. You just have double to be shot a, at a six five. You just have to be an extra pain in the butt, I think. I would love some pizza. Go, go right. for it. But I can't right midstream. Or at the, we're at, watching at we're the watching end. some legendary stuff happen here. Oh yeah. And uh he's holding two cube. Could be fifteen. Four. Six one. Okay, so he already played the six two and oh that's too oh. big. I thought that was this uh, well, there's good news. Oh, he touched it. Touch. Oh, no, he straightened. He straightened up his checkers. Adjust. You have to cl claim adjust before you you go for it. Yeah, adjust. He straightened his checkers in the rack. Oh, okay. He reached over and straightened the checkers in yeah. the rack. I'm glad. I'm glad he's using Justin it. Justin thought he would. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was whipping it. Pizza from Tip Top. Mmm. It looked good. I was there the other day. I had a burger. The burger was delicious. That's a uh, world championship institution. Tip Top. Tip Top Cafe. Keeps you in tip top shape. <laughs> no. 
I agree, Mochi. He was just one of those those checkers where uh, one of them had fallen over or something. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. reached over and straightened up the checkers. He didn't touch the cube. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Okay. okay. But he felt it. If you insist. He felt it. <laughs> if if you insist. He felt it though. So there's no doubt. <laughs> Yeah, he was down nine yeah. How's how's Victor's match going? He was up. Where's your? I'm not sure. Oh, yes, give me your phone again. Didn't take in... Didn't you listen? I gave the scores. Okay. Thank you. We've got forty-one. I need 441. Yeah, this 4 5 okay. is strong. Six, I'll three, get some. Uh, Mochi says he's coming down now. Nice. Let's Let go. Him sit down. Let him sit down. He, he can give some insight on Kingo. Four and then two down. We must unstack the mid. No, 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 not this. I don't worry. Maybe you worry. I don't worry. Good, he doesn't worry either. Uh oh, we should have worried. Double force. I've changed my mind. Oh, it would have been the same either way. Four six fans, so the cube is coming, unless it's like too good already. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten checkers in the zone. Only one on the roof, one in the outfield. Is this uh five one? Okay. Three two makes the eleven. I mean, I would double now. I doubled before. I might have doubled before. I'm not taking this one, by the way. <laughs> this is not for me, I don't think. Uh, I'll, I'll take the next one, maybe. But this one is a little scary. But if he gets the take on this one, then it was a good wait. Because then maybe he doesn't know if it was uh, too good or not good enough. You never know what someone might be thinking in a certain position, you know? But White only has one guy back here as well, right? He's up in the race. There's serious threats. There's a four-point board versus a one-point board. I uh, would be terrified to be black here. Thank you so much. Rory was bringing him. I got met him halfway. Of course, did he bring a napkin? <laughs> uh, okay. What happened? What I miss? Uh, you missed the point, missed for, point. for Mr. For Mr. Martin Holm. I, I, Such a rarity. I know. I mean, and then... It's like, you know, it's like the... What's the, name six? What's the name of that comment that comes about? Haley's comments. It's like Haley's oh, yeah. comment. I missed it. And we're like the Heaven's Gate cult, aren't we? <laughs> Remember them? <laughs> <laughs> Heaven's Gate. The thing is, you don't know if it worked. Thank you. Hey. We're streaming, what, 14 hours a day? Yeah, you grab a bite when you can get it. Yeah, I mean, I might have made the three, but like I've made this, I've, I've seen this be, be like better before. So I'm not sure. I generally like to like work with stacks and stuff, but the five is the five, so. Four three's a hitter. <clears throat> Five, five fans. He's not taking any 
And he rolls off. You fan, you're getting the cube now. He's got the 21 point anchor. Morton's got a lot of work to do. Yeah, I mean, I don't foresee many gammons in his future. Maybe you can just take this shot here. Just take this one. So worst case scenario, right? What was the worst roll? So he could roll like double fives, I guess, and then you would hate your life. But like, what else are you hating your life on? Maybe six five five four. Okay, he takes it. Makes the priming points. No intimidation. Yeah, it doesn't look Kingo. that scary. So I come out with the six and bring the three down. Why don't you bring me my other coat? Three and then six out. It just gives you more flexibility to try to maybe make the eight or nine. Mm. Oh, but why stay behind? Just come out. We don't want that there anyway. We want the builders to be behind the structure so we can make the outside points, yeah? That way you'd be shooting at this guy 16 different ways from Sunday. Bill's got a problem. Hmm. Six, five hits on the outside. I mean, it should hit on the outside. I don't know. Something over there. Like, uh, if you ask yourself, like, where your spare should go, I mean, if you have three extra spares on the six and a single extra spare on the five, but the guy has the 21-point tw anchor, like, where are those guys going, you know? To the ace? Is that where we want them to be? Why wouldn't we just hit on the outside? I mean, um, right? Yeah, of course. So he's worried about him making a double anchor. I get it, but he's not likely to do it. Maybe he is, but that's why we keep the spares outside. Four, three. Okay, nice shot. Oh. You didn't get my uh... ace. Double anchor. Who said anything about double anchor? <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh. He goes in this one for the long run. I would just play two down, I think. Maybe. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Now, do you cover or do you... I make the inner board. Yeah. Okay. If we get hit, we don't want it to be easy for the guys on the 24 to split off, you know? Now, when Mochi said he was coming down, did he mean here or somewhere I, else? I don't, I don't. <laughs> He's commented again since then, so I don't know. Well, Black has decent timing. Yeah, he's... I'd make the eight, by the way. He can sustain another couple of rolls. Hmm. Okay, okay. And then the yeah, goal would right. be that's right. to then like come off the twenty one and just hold the ace point game, you know. You just oh, bring them all shot. in, yeah. Nice shot. Very, very good. Safety, safety. Four three, okay. I play the three in from the nine. And then the four in from the other number. Oh, you can just slot the deuce. Okay, I slot the deuce. I like that better. I like slotting the deuce better. Five one. Five four. Okay, I'm not coming okay. off the twenty one yet. Yet yeah, this is not probably yet. probably the last roll. That Although can I mean, stay. maybe he's thinking about it because like you don't want to roll double twos next or something dumb, but. Wow, that was the one. 
117 casts on this game. Mm. Mm. Surprised by that. Amazing. Must be score thing, yeah? And these long yeah, matches and being yeah. up so much. Doesn't want to get gammoned and swing the, the score. No, no, no. She's coming out in a second. 6 1? So, I mean, he's thinking about splitting off to give the guy fours to play, yeah? The yeah. problem is, is like 4 1 and 4 2 are good numbers. 6 1? Huh? Oh, you're oh here. Mochi, okay, come on. Just one ones. I'm gonna bring you up. Okay. We'll let that. Uh, you can stay with Mochi. Okay. I'll sit you can stay up. with us too. I'll sit right Please. over here. Oh my god. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, Mochi uh, can give some good insight on Nakasuka, who apparently is going to the round of eight. Unless uh, things turn. Uh, what do you lose. mean? Martin Holmes winning this game right now? I know, but he's still going to be down 13-7. I was, I was up 12 nothing. <laughs> and now I'm here with you. <laughs> and get some insight on uh, not the so, oh. so how was it watching your... Uh... I'm very, happy on stream, so, yeah. I'm very happy so far he's playing well, I think. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to take that cube in this game. Hmm. Uh, but also I don't know. Oh yeah, it's a pass. Yeah, it would be nice. Thank you, Andres. It would be nice if somebody, you know, post the analysis by Sim Gammon. So yeah, that, that would be great. Nice. Oh, they just took a break. So what was it about that cube that um, you didn't like so much when he took it? Was it a lot of score related or are you passing that for money as well? No, I, I don't want to take for money, yeah. but uh, the score, like, he was up, how much, eight points or something? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and the, uh, Moten was leading millions of pips, you know. Leading in every he, aspect of the game. He has, he has no improvement over his board, you know. Were, were there, were there hidden so, gamuts there that I didn't it's, see? It's too much work, and mm. he cannot redouble, right, um, until, like, almost June, because yeah. he's leading so much. But so far, I'm very happy about his performance, actually. Yeah, yeah. And since they uh, took a break, I'm going to you know, talk with him. Yeah, that's great. Okay, you're going to give him some coaching? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this my match? Yeah. How are you doing? Have you been watching it up in his room? Mochi's coming back. Tell everyone on stream one we got Mochi on stream two. <laughs> Tell them in the chat we got Mochi over here.
Okay. Real quickly, I think the audio's on. Um, Victor's up ten nine. Victor's, excuse me, up ten ten nine in his match. Free goes down four two. Sachs is down big, like twelve five. And the biggest surprise, perhaps, um, what's his name? Tony Dia, Diamantides or something like that, who's an Amer dual citizen, hmm. American Greek, Tony Diamantides or something, <laughs> is 12-12 uh, with uh, PJT. Okay. So, uh, Mochi's back. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They got your they got the name there now. They just changed it. Oh, where's my name? Right here, Mochi. Oh, cool. Tears on the ball all the time, huh? Ha ha ha. He never misses a step that one. Ha ha ha. So what's the score now? Uh seven to thirteen? Thirteen to seven. Sat into seven. So, so seven away, ten away, yeah? No. Four away, ten away. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are the considerations at four away, ten away? Well, I actually, um, as a four away, if there's no gamble, like pure race, four away can double earlier than money game. So in like gamble positions, races, holding games, you can double like normal? Normal, a little bit early actually. Really? Yeah, stake one is higher for ten away. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because... So what about 10 away makes the take point higher? If there's a gammon, um, then much higher, I guess. Mm -hmm. With, you, you know, redouble power is very, very strong. Yes. And of course, more thing gonna double very aggressively, I guess. Of course. <laughs> um, well, he gains an edge, yeah? Right. And my biggest fear was that, so Kengo Nakaskara, it, this is fastest tournament. Yeah. Not only Monte Carlo, but first international tournament in general, right? Okay. And uh, he made the last 16 already. And uh, is that last Arito or last 16? Yeah. Which one? 16, I believe. 16. So if he wins last eight, right? Yeah. Um. So I don't want him to think like, okay, I'm done so far, you know, like, you know, it, or all of a sudden he might be getting nervous, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because now you will see like, oh, I could become world champion. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. that moment is very scary. Yeah. So far, he's playing just his game, right? Yeah, don't yeah. think about winning world champion. Don't think about the, world, the prize money and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But at some point, it comes, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, how you deal with it, it's like completely different uh, personal stuff, uh, you know, regardless to your back and skill. Mm. You know what I mean? Now, all of a sudden, you cannot double because you are scared or you cannot take the cube. You know, but so far, I don't see any sign from him yeah you know he takes a cube which was a, a, actually a pass in the last one but uh okay it's a good sign you know he was not nervous he uh, he's ready to fight right taking passes is a good sign well no, then you should uh, see I my mean, match no uh, i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> no i i mean it's much better yes, in the other way you know course. what i mean it's better to not be scared yeah. now, there's only maybe like one moment with the six five when he didn't run off the anchor yeah but just I mean, that one after moment, i thought I about it it's yeah. actually very difficult you know it's not about the... it's a timing thing mm -hmm. there and it's it's mm -hmm. it, you can see yourself yeah. getting squeezed yeah. after the other prime right, anyway. right 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 it's and, not obvious yeah. it's not obvious even for grandmasters and then maybe, so I've only seen two plays of his that I didn't like. It was that one and the double fives. But other than that, I think it's like very, yeah. very, 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 yeah. very solid. Yeah, yeah, Also, the cube action, mm -hmm. um, redouble. Like, so Morten had five point and four point, and a five point 
anchor and the four point, the blood on the four point, yeah. and he had to clear seven and eight point. Yes. So the did. timing of his redouble was like perfect. He did not double too early. Yeah. He did not double too late. No, he more than low double five. He rolled doubles. He rolled big doubles. Then he had the go. gamins were gone. Then and he, then he, he used the That's redouble. like perfect timing. So he uh, he knew it. Um, so in Japan we have a league system. Yeah. And uh, people play 25 point match. Okay. Right? So this is not the first time for him to play yeah, on yeah, match. Yeah. So, so he's he probably knows it. You know. Good. So Huawei then now is what? What is uh, like 90% winning chance? 85 maybe? I mean, you guys play League to 25. <laughs> you, you should know this more than me. I, uh, I play unlimited games, you know? <laughs> <laughs> with like, uh, I was saying, I have, a, I have a major in money games with a minor in seven point matches. So, um... Yeah, I think it's uh, 82%, actually. Were you going through Neil's numbers there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, still, still a huge favorite. Um, he has 10 minutes. 4 away, 10 away. Okay, a little bit short, but it's not too much, like, like myself. <laughs> or myself. The yeah, I'll be like well. two yeah, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got into time trouble the other day. I was up 12 nothing, and I was like, oh, this match is almost over. Then all of a sudden, they come crawling back from the dead, and it's just game after game after game after game. And I'm just I like, know. oh, man, I have uh, I have no time. Yeah. You know what's bad when you have no time? You're making a move, and then you hit the clock, and then you see the best play after you hit the clock, and you go, oh, man, what did I just do? And you might not get that feeling often, but... Uh, <laughs> Exactly. Uh, so yeah, the other thing I think is, is that so last year we mm. had a tournament called uh, Monte Carlo Challenge, right? In Japan. In Japan. Okay. And people pay very small entry fee, like ten dollars. Yeah. And people play like four players tournament, and okay. if you win, you are qualified to the grand final. And we did it like multiple times, like yeah. maybe 64 times or so. Oh, wow. And the winner of all the 64 players play grand final, and he is a winner. So okay. he came here, uh, Monte Carlo, for $10. It's true. <laughs> wow. And it's sponsored by uh, Kenji Shimodaira san and uh, Hiroshi Tanaka san. So they donated like, I don't know, like 5,000 or so, like wow. for nothing. It's just for the, for the good of the game. And uh, so he's the winner, and the other winner is uh, Yanagi-san. He okay. also won it, um, but but he's out of the tournament now. So that's a lot of work. That's a, that's a lot of matches to get. Through yeah. That, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But like he someone probably wins. won like wow. I don't know nine matches to to win the tournament or so. So you're talking like this is like a really, really, really hot streak. So he plays well. And right, he's on that's the hot right. Street. That's right. So uh, 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 it's like winning the qualifier to get into the World Series of Poker in an online tournament for five dollars, and then yeah. finding yourself oh, yeah. like in oh, the yeah. semifinals. So it covers everything. So he got the free entry. He got the free airfare, free hotel, and everything. He's staying in this hotel as well. Not in this hotel. He, okay, okay. He chose to stay, you know, the boss rail, but uh, still, it's huge. I agree. So it's gonna be like it's uh, not cheap here. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is this is probably ten euros. No, <laughs> so 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 this can right here. Yeah, you buy over there, ten euros. You walk to Beausoleil. I bought this for one euro and twenty cents. All right. I came in with two Coke Zeros for Tara, two regular Cokes for Bill, a Red Bull, and two massive waters for myself for eleven euros. Here, hundred and fifty euros. Suntan lotion upstairs, two hundred and fifty euros. <laughs> but guess what? Everybody here is rich. Yeah, that's yeah. True. That, so it's no and, problem. And they support the tournament. So you yeah, know? exactly. I love it. If we all go up to the Bosley to get the one euro cooks, we're not gonna exist, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm silly. But uh, anyway, um, it's also a million degrees outside. I I I just wanna We're point it out. Watching that, in, at, uh, he is like uh, like a money maker in. Uh, Poker. Yes, of course. Chris Moneymaker back in the day. I don't know how much he paid. He paid ten dollars. Yeah, to, they, that, to get that, that's that's the yeah. story. It's like a hundred dollar right. entry. Yeah. All of a sudden, turned into the millions at yeah. the end. Yeah. 
and he was world champion and started the poker boom, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the story that needs to be told, and now backgammon is the biggest game in the world. <laughs> or at least in Japan, you know? Yeah. It would be a great story. Well, we have too many world champions. Already, so. <laughs> it's true, you've got a Kiko, you have yourself, it, you, know? you know, two for you, two for her. <laughs> he wins, they'd be like, oh, just one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's such a nice story. No, it's great. Mm -hmm. So what what are they doing in there? Has it started? Is it frozen? What's happening here? Uh... I, I guess thought Mona is taking too much play. What? Yo, you're waiting on Morton, yeah? Just hit the clock. <laughs> she heard you. <laughs> That'll get them running, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I, I like that. So when we were in Istanbul, instead of giving somebody a penalty point if they're late to the match, mm -hmm. they said, match starts at noon. If you're not there by 12.05, you start the clock. Okay. And and for me, that's perfect. I don't I don't think penalty points are fair, but if you just start the clock on the guy, right. it'll incentivize them to be there on time. Mm -hmm. No excuses. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long breaks are. I mean, obviously, you know, everything is very relaxed here. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying do that, but, um, you know, I just like it better than penalty points. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Moten Home, uh, I don't know you guys talking about it, uh, but he's a long time you know, gambler. Yeah, yeah. And he's not going to be nervous about this World Championship no. thing. And uh, he is a brilliant player, too. Um, I have uh, lots of respect to him. Uh, he used to be a top, top player. Um, he is, still is, of course. Yes. Uh, but compared to the back in old days, you know, the, because everybody gets better, mm -hmm. you know. But he's one of the genius. And I believe he's, uh, uh, he used to be a partner of Sander. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good job, player mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime I see the, <laughs> the Danish flag or the Japanese flag in a backgammon tournament, I know the guy's good. <laughs> you know? It doesn't go forward. So what is the chat saying? Okay, so if someone's doing PRs, uh, Morton Holm apparently is playing a 3.62, mm -hmm. and Kengo is playing a 5.41. Oh, really? He's, he's playing really bad. What happens to Kengo? I don't know. I didn't um, see his... his uh, Big blunders. Maybe I didn't. I I missed it out. Mark Olsen is the GM yet. He always seems to be out. Oh no, no, we don't read these ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't read these ones. Not every comment we can read on this stream. Ah ha ha ha. Ah, who is the best five players in the world? Um, usually I don't want to answer those questions because always I, you know, forget Leave some names, you know, yeah, and some, yeah. uh, they're like, oh, you forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know offend anybody, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, Sandra, of course, Mochi, Sander, Azuki, Bjerg, I like Zeniak. Uh... Yeah, Zenig Ziska for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, obviously, Hideaki, I respect Hideaki. Hideaki too. Ueda is a monster. Mm -hmm. uh, Victor Ashkenazi, oh, of, Victor, course. of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, my man, Mr. Costa Rica. Oh, Wilcox Snelling, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Wilcox Snellings is an absolute monster. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, these guys are top of the top. Or as where the pizza comes from, tip top. <laughs> <laughs> That's the restaurant here, just up the hill, yeah? Any more insights on economics of Monte Carlo, guys? I'm not sure if I understand the uh, question here. Like what, what, what the cost of things are here. So a lot of people stay in the hotel here. 
So yeah. there's the option to stay in Monte Carlo. Some people stay in Bosile, which is just like a uh, 10, 15 well, minute walk uphill. Well, it's not too bad to stay in Fairmont. I'm in paying uh, 400 euro per night. Okay. But I'm staying with my mom. Okay. So if you divide by two, it's 200. Yes, of course. You can... And it's including a breakfast. And uh, the breakfast is, is fantastic at the hotel. Right. And the amenities at the hotel are super right. nice. We were up at the pool today. The pool is amazing. They've got lounge chairs on the roof. Being able to partake and actually like staying in the hotel of the tournament not, really not only does save a lot of staying time. in the hotel. This is a five star hotel in Monte Carlo. Oh, Monte Carlo. Okay, if you go to the Metropole or Hotel de Pali or you know whatever the, the hotel nearby, yeah, it starts from one thousand, not four hundred. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, we get yeah, like yeah. a big discount, and uh, the service is great. And uh, I mean. Um, things are expensive, of course, you know, th this is 10 euros. We're not in Michigan, <laughs> right? We're yeah. Not, we're not in Kansas anymore, yeah. I guess, uh, yeah. as, yeah. as, as they would say in the, in the movies. But, um, you know, Monte Carlo is a very different place to the rest of the world, you know? Monte Carlo is a very different place to the rest of the world. And, you know, there's reasons why there's, uh, Bentleys and Bugattis and Ferraris, uh, every 15 feet. And, and why this is the premier tournament and the premier place to have a tournament like in world championship. It's everything is extravagant here for sure. And uh, it's nice. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's very, very nice. <laughs> oh, got... so there are um, players you're not going to see in other tournaments, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, people who play 500 per point in 1,000 per point. So people show up and just play money games. They're not even here to play the tournament. They're just here for the side action, you know? That's like the, the story history. Yeah, why is the morning at home? I guess it's a little too much now. It's like 20 minutes, maybe? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Uh, yes, it's actually pretty wild, actually. Maybe he's hoping we, we go away, Mochi. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got better things to do. <laughs> he got lost. Wrong door. That one. It's funny. I said he got lost and then he went to the wrong door. <laughs> yeah. So it's hallelujah. So Morton Holmes has a website called... Um, what is it? Uh, SomethingGourmet.dk? Uh-huh. Where it's like a betting site for a bunch of different things. Yeah. And he set a line uh, By the way, for... this 5-4 is a mistake. I yes, don't know why is. he does that. The 5 comes down and the 4 is supposed to split. Double 5s makes the okay, 3 points. Okay, 1. Come in. 2 make the 3 points. <laughs> Maybe. Take the three, then think about the last. And then you think about I the think last I would, one. I, I would come down, actually. Yeah. I, no, 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 I don't like it. Oh, maybe Dibrick in the three. Maybe it's right, actually. I didn't see it. I guess I like his play now. And now you slot? No, I would slot. I slot. I, I would slot. Yeah. Because of the stacks and the distribution. Yep. Now you make the five, anyway. So, um... Uh... Tango is up like. No, I would, I make, I would make a five. The I don't five care is about forever. It. Yeah. So he hits you. You hit back. You have the five. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe you don't get hit. Maybe you don't get hit. Yeah. Five one. Now I. Now I'm gonna. I anchor. anchor you weren't actually. supposed to. Yeah, you that... weren't supposed to split to begin with. Right. 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 So w would you consider slotting though? I mean, look at the the stack there. Mm hmm. So I mean, the slot doesn't look terrible. So uh, he's down 12 pips, I think. Uh, okay. After the move, he's going to be down 6 pips. So I don't want to come out to the bar. I think it's a little too much, too rich. Uh, and check out in the zone. So for me, 5 is starting 8. And then 8, I would, I would, I would uh, anchor. Oh. So for me, the 5 down is just the redistribution. Like, mm -hmm. I have only two checkers on the 8 point, and then I can just redistribute my checkers. Good point. And I can make a new point without having to lose my 8 point, yeah? And then whether or not I slot or make the, the 23 is another question. 
I do kind of look at the board as like stacks. Mm -hmm. So I do like slotting, but I can see the point of anchoring as well, yeah? Yeah. Well, both structures are um, a breaching structure, so I'm not gonna go for the priming play. I would have. Oh, look at this shot. Yeah, this is good. But now he regrets to have yeah, blood on the five. Yes, you know. he could just roll a four. Okay. All right, that's great game for Kengo. He's up like uh, 11 pips. Now it's the uh, same, maybe. But still, he's his big favorite. Maybe 60 40, his favorite. 5 3. I would just come down. Two down? Yep. Oh, but he gets a good 6 1 now. Do you that's... care? I, I do, but I also didn't want to put checkers too far to up front. Oh, now I think uh, Moten has to go. I uh, My quick count is how much. He must be up in the race. Let's see. Moten, please do not move a checker. I am counting. <laughs> Okay, uh, 11. I think he's actually down one pip after the move. After the roll, he's down a pip. Yeah. So yeah. he still needs to stay. Yeah. But I think he has to go halfway through. You, you, you know what I mean? I think he, I mean, he should go to E15. Because only down one pip, he doesn't have a timing to, to, to stay back on the, the midpoint. I think. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Morton counts the pit very fast. I'm sure he counted the pit, right? Yes, yes, he, uh, he must have. 5-4, yeah. slots the 4. Mm -hmm. What was it, 5-4? <laughs> what well, did you have? 5-4, right? So he's down 5. Morton is down 5. But on shake, it's, so it's like an even. Oh, double fives. Oh, uh, it's probably the game winner. 2... He's Four. up 15, so Kengo-san has to perform. One, two, um, three. This is probably enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the four. Yeah. So, so now it's eight pips. Uh, well, actually. Or is it? I don't know. I guess. I guess seven, eleven, seven. I guess. Thirty. So Morten is up seven. Right, got it. Sure. So we got a double and a take and five two. Do you go to the four point here? Mm -hmm. Just for better distribution? Yep. Seems funny to not cross over, but it'll save you time later. In theory. I would go three and then two. No, no, you don't want that number. Try again. That's better. Oh, wow. So now From... we got to think about the redouble points, you know? Okay, we'll go through the math on that one for us, because right. uh, he's going to do it. But let's let's hear it out loud so it's on film for everybody to hear. <laughs> but in English. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if Morten drops it, it's going to be two away, ten away, two right? Two away, ten away, yes. And uh, which is uh, how much? He's shaking. 6-5. Okay. 2-1 again. Okay, now he now we really can consider this. 439. I think it's gonna be 8% if he drops. Oh wow, okay. Let, let me double check. I, I have to you know remember. Oh. So 33 to 47. 14 pips. 14? Yeah, I think 8%. For you. Oh, wow. So he doubled. Wow. He doubled, yeah. Quick. For you. So if he takes, he's going to redouble. And, uh, but he can't. But he... Two away, four away. It's going to be 66. So um, so 12% is the take point. Okay. Yeah. You think he wins 12% here? Five. That's a good question. I think he's down 14 pips. No. 15, no? Is it 15? Uh-oh. Uh, 
Don't don't move the checker, Sorry, please. Nine. I cannot count. Fourteen. Yeah, you're right. I was right. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen pips. He's trying to figure it out. I I got it. <laughs> So John O'Hagan had this uh, thing he did, okay, so he goes, um, so your point of blast take, yeah, right, gets you to about 22% winning chances, and then he goes, if you're on roll down four pips, right, it's at 50-50, uh -huh. and he's figuring out, like, what the, how much each pip is worth, uh -huh. percentage of, like, game winning chances, right, and yeah. you can get to a pretty exact point of, like, where you are, as far as winning chances go by doing this in a normal race. So if you can do that here, I'm not going to do it because yeah, it's not my game. And I need to save the, uh, the brain power for my match later. But you can find yourself a really, really close estimation of like what your actual game winning chances are here. And okay, what, so let, what let me... What would you estimate? What, what method do you use? Well... Uh, 30, so black is 33 pips and white is 47 pips, right? Yeah. So his usual take point would be uh, 4. So 33, 37 would be around 25%. Okay. And uh, he is back by 10 pips, right? Okay. From uh, 25%. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, If we assume one pip is worth 1%, it's going to be 15%. Or maybe more, I don't know. I guess it's relatively close, maybe? I'm not sure. I think I would pass, but maybe I'm wild. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm wild. Mm -hmm. I could, let me toss it in mobile here, see what, the, see what the bot says. Or maybe somebody already checked it. Probably somebody did. It's easy to set up, though. But I don't trust mobile, so. Exactly. 17. I have 13. 7. Holding a 2 cube. 3, 6. 3, 6, 7. I would say it's a pass. That's what I thought. Yeah. It's, and it's, it is a monster pass, by the way. Yeah. 224. Okay. Well, it says monster, but a winning chance is 8.5, and, and the uh, take point is 12. So the difference is like 3.5%. Okay. <laughs> it's when not, you say it like that, it doesn't sound no, I big, mean, but equity-wise, it is I I know, I know, big, yeah. but for the human, it's not really easy for human to... Out well, if you know what your point of last take is, and you you see that like your your and that yeah. will give you twenty two percent, and you see like how many extra pips over that ten is. Pips. Yeah, that's exactly. A, that's a ten pips. So that's a lot. You, you could go like wow, like yeah. that. That's really gonna put yeah. you in a very I, very low. I or, or also sometimes think like okay, how you know does double five or double six make it favorite, and it doesn't. So you know. Okay. I mean, maybe double five make it even. You know what I mean? So say even if you like roll it. your best roll, no second best. Second best. Roll, and you you have five, many chances yeah. to roll double fives too. So yeah. Anyway, it's good pass. Fifteen seven. Huge monster lead by uh, Kengo. So he has like ninety two percent of uh, favorite. So unless there's some accident, uh, Kengo Sun's gonna advance. But there's always accidents. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a match. Or both matches, I had this tournament against ZZ. I started up plus twelve, and then my match, and I, I obviously kept on and won that one. But then my match against uh, Oliver, I started plus twelve and lost that one. So okay. So you're saying 12 zero is a 50 50 chance? And I, I saw <laughs> I saw you play a match one time. I think in New York where you were playing maybe a Kiko in a 13 point match and you were up 12 nothing and then she came all the way back to 12 12. Right. But then you got the extra point at the end anyway. I think ended up winning or something like this. What about this? I would say it's a double pass just because of the score and the uh, black can lose again. And he has 11 check 10 checkers in the zone. Sleep on Blitz. It's probably a take for money. Um, 
But it's a big fuss at the score. Well, it doesn't look fun for money either. But it might be a take for money, but it doesn't look fun for money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at the score, it seems pretty easy to let go. 6-3 is a hitter. Not ideal, but it stacks on the eight, or at least I would. What would you do, Mochi? Ah, uh, I, would I, I wouldn't it up. hit. I would just play safe. You're yeah. reading the race, and you don't want to. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. And that's a bit ambitious. Yes, I, I don't want to. I don't want to lose the spell on the eight point. It's not going to be successful. Like, what can you do now? It also complicates your game. So it it leads to um, many mistakes in the future. I'd make the seven and then just come out. I agree to make seven and uh, come maybe out with put a one and go all the way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you or you can blitz. Uh, that's a different type of approach. Yeah. That's something else there. Yeah, now, now you can't. I, I don't think you should hit here. Yeah. Just thinking about the cube. <laughs> um, I guess it's uh, too early. Even on the score. He's thinking. Like, you expect him to dance after the hit? No. <laughs> so what's the Magirusa then? Okay, 3 1. Whatever he, he rolls, as long as he entered, it's going to be a take. Right? Yeah, but he needs to jack up the volatility. Oh, that's a good shake. Okay. Make the deuce and hit the seven. I think it's simple. Right? So, Kango's strategy from here is win Gammon without a double. Mm. So it's a safest and it's most effective. Okay. He rolls the ace. Uh -huh. Now he has that anchor. He needs to make an anchor of his own here. Without it, he might be getting the cube. And I think he should get cubed here. What do you think, Mochi? Wow, interesting. You're right. I, I would think. double. Yeah, you. I would clean yeah. up the other outside blot mm -hmm. by playing to the eight, and then I would double the guy. Oh, wow. Wait, is it 4 K 3? This Kango is. San. I would do 5 3. Why two blots? Mm hmm. That's just like so much extra, extra juice to squeeze. But if he's passing anyway, I guess it doesn't matter, yeah. But this makes it a pass, no? Is it pass? I don't know, but there's two more blots out there. There didn't have to be. No, I mean, what's gonna happen? Okay, so he's one of his best rolls gonna be two four, yeah. Okay, I mean, and I guess he could anchor, but I yeah. Mean, well, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you enjoy taking this more without the other block? No, out there? no, I'm not enjoying taking, but I think it's a take. Okay, chat, do your thing. Because uh, this is not fun for me. I mean, okay, there's three Nobody guys back on the bar. two guys back. You Nobody's have on the two bar. point ball, not point even save. three point ball. Right? I know. I'm not saying pass, I'm just saying take makes me scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's on your game, so take it. Oh no, you drop it. He heard Any, me. Anybody check it? Yeah, somebody please check it. Of course, it's a pass, he says, but I'm not sure if he checked it. Who says, of course, though? <laughs> Is it Victor Ashkenazi? No? Victor Victor doesn't hang out in the chat. <laughs> no. MCG hangs out in the chat. But not this chat. Someone's in the chat saying, of course it's a pass, and you're screaming, take it. You're the best player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but that, 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 the 5-3 from the roof, I think, was a pretty sizable misplay, though. I mean, if, well, not if you're going to pass, but if you're, if you're going to take, yeah? You could have done 7 2. Hiding the block. And that's what I said. I said you enter with the 5 and you lift the one of the blocks. So you're only playing with the guy on the on the, the 7 point there. 
Black's on the roof. Yeah. Black fans. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, black just hit. I thought they rolled already. I was gonna start screaming Q. Oh no. No, no. I I had the players mixed up. He, oh, he's doubling this. After the last one, he uh, thought oh, maybe. Oh, it says a 200 pass. What's a big pass? Oh, Justin, one for Justin. <laughs> <laughs> one for Justin. I don't have bacon. Oh, one for Justin. Oh, what a, what's going on? Oh, man. He just doubled? He did. And he should play the other one up. Yes, this looks good. Maybe he should have played down to get more checkers in the zone and left that guy there for later. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't look good for Kengo. He needs a three pretty seriously. If he get Gamma, it's going to be two away, four away. We know that score. Oh, uh, okay. Hit for sure. He fall down. And the fourth down. A nine point. This gives you like as many indirects as a direct. Six, oh. five is not a good roll. 6-3, more down, more down. I think it's gonna be 11. Oh, maybe you go to the 5. No, oh, no, no, okay, not that one. The, to the 5, to the 5. Because then you get 3 covers for the ace. Yes, this way. Oh, what are the pros and cons of one versus the other? You want to cover the ace, right? This gives you 2 covers for the ace. This gives you 2 covers for the ace. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it gives you more numbers to attack on the deuce. Yeah. 2-1. Okay, switch. Mochi. Four hit, make the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good play. Of course, Moten not going to be in the play like this. He uh, he likes to play like this. He's yeah, a very creative player, actually. Yeah. yeah. Sixth is... Oh, oh my wow. god. Four. That's sick. Four. He's thinking of making a three, I guess. I know, I see this, but why? Maybe double uh, fours. Now you're hit. You know what I mean? How is that good? <laughs> oh, you called it! I heard Bochi. My gosh, that's Did he rooting for you. <laughs> Do you think your boy is rooting for you? It's a world champion lord here, right double there. four. Oh, Just like okay. a Sanda did it. Commentating, you know. <laughs> What is happening? That was a low blow. That's gonna be hard for me to recover. Uh, it's a one. huge. No swing there, huh? That creative little switching player. Huh? Wow. <laughs> wow. Like, like, give the guy four. See if that, yeah. Small mistake on the ace. I don't know. I, I guess you gotta hit with a five. Tango san, let's go. I, 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 would, uh, I would hit the three points. Two on the roof is good. Two on the roof is good. Guy. Yeah, but what can you do with this? I mean, you, you have to take some risk at some point. The thing is, anchoring is just as bad as getting hit as well, yeah? I mean, if the guy anchors, it's just as bad for you. I'm not going to say that, but... Uh... I think it's I think it's close. He didn't anchor. It's very strange. I agree. I guess he gets more combo shots in yeah, the outfield for this. True. That's true. Doesn't roll it though. Okay, I anchor and make play the three down. Yeah. I'm not worried about getting hit. He wants to hit me. Good on you. Six three. Okay. Huh. You make the bar here, or do you go for it, Mochi? Uh, it's very scary, even for me. Yeah. I, uh, I'm more comfortable with making a bar. Me too, but I, I, I sometimes... This is about, you have one and three and two to hit, and once you dance, you're... Like... You're dead? Yeah, yeah, I mean, not dead, but you can get them. You're not dead, but you're bleeding out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best play regardless. Well, there's three guys back, so I think it... it, it, it... Oh, six, four hits! Three one fans. Okay. Six three again. That doesn't move the back. Oh, it does. You could also make the 
Oh, yeah, I know. You come out and play this. So, this how strong. old is Kengo? I'm not sure. He's probably Sadi. He's young. I mean, maybe Sadi too? Sadi? I don't know. I don't really remember. 3 1 fans again. Oh, 3 oh, 2. Sorry, it's the bonus. Yeah, your slots. They're fully duplicated. Yeah. And plus, it's the way to win. Oh, it's a huge miss. Huge. Now, you, you saw his finger? He, you know, thought about the 3 2, two banana split. I'm thinking of it as well. <laughs> but I'm thinking of it seriously. I don't think it's right. But uh, it can, just can shows. You, can you let. I mean, so can you let him. You, you can't lose a gammon. Mm -hmm. And you can't let him make the five. Okay. You can't let him make the five. I don't think. Oh, this is scary for me. Okay, he would have hit me and made the fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have three point ball. <laughs> I have a three point ball. What could go wrong? It seems okay to me. Two. It's much better now. <laughs> so you can hit with three, six, and five, four this way. This way you can hit with three, five, three, five and six, two doesn't it, hit. It exactly, yeah. Two, six is not going to hit. Yeah, that's a this big is the for play sure. for sure. 6-3, you uh -huh. just got missed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the 6 can't... Yeah, he, you, he, 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 he can't run. even hit you with the 3, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is that was a That's fine. great miss. 3-2 switches points. He needs 3-5 or 3-4. 3-5. Oh Ice cold. Oh boy. What a law. Maybe he's on the way. It looks like it. Yeah. Maybe uh oh, he's on the counter way prime. To <laughs> counter prime. Exactly. Six six. Don't you know? Six six could be fine. He needs a him. three and a oh, four. Six, one is not. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's he a little crackage in the package. Maybe. Five no. four. He needs a four or a three. Okay. Double ones. Oh, the board I breaks. I did. I I couldn't Yowzer. find what to. I couldn't find any number. One, two, so, three. And then get off of the two. Six, or are you trying to hold the prime? So if he hits you on the one, yeah. he's stuck anyway. So it doesn't matter so much. Uh huh. But are you playing this like a counter prime? Because if so, you keep the guy on the deuce, yeah? But two to one, you know? But then you might have to hit him off the deuce again as well, yeah? Okay, but the three, was there a way to get rid of the, the three? Because the three needs to cover and the three needs to split. I wasn't sure about his four, uh, his three. He played eleven eight, but now he gave a good four. <laughs> well, this looks fairly dead. Not he really. Needs the two or an ace. Two not really, five not, double hits. Not really. It's not double two. Or he needs drama. just one dance here. Yes. But he oh, does not. No, he, he rolls not. the perfecta. <laughs> Look at his reaction the most. <laughs> he did like this. <laughs> All I saw was the smile on uh, on Kengo's face. Yeah. He anchors. Okay. Yeah, not giving up. Second chance. Anything okay. is possible. It starts with double sixes. Why need six? One, two, what about that? Um, what about that? Would you switch, maybe? No. I hit outside. I want him to anchor on the two, because then he might get a little counter prime. Whereas if he anchors on the three, it's easier to hop out, no? Exactly, but... Uh... But also, you don't want him to anchor. But you don't. You also don't want to not be able to hit that guy again either, though. Because mm -hmm. if You're he right. gets away, he gets You're timing. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, if he rolls too many twos, don't roll. Any you know. Yeah. Oh, there's a chance. I'm gonna leave that there on the eight. By the way, I want to yeah. make it. Yeah. But he sees his six is duped to like cover as well, so he's a little worried. I didn't see it. But you got to take chances in this game. No. Oh, the worst. Double five is probably worse. Mm -hmm. But this is pretty bad. It's pretty bad, yeah. 
sixes again. You needed him to enter with the other two really quickly as well, and it didn't happen. So now he needs a one and a six. Double oh, twos no, is that's terrible. Bad. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Maybe is it better to break the five? It might yeah. be better to break the five. No, but leave the guys on the uh, leave the guys on the six. He needs to set back the original. Can you go to the original? He's just uh no, because then you're gonna have a three point board on your next shape. You can hold a four-point board longer if you just set it all back to the original and break the five and go to the ace with one and keep a spare on the six. Uh-huh. He played that funny. Maybe he was very disappointed already. Yeah. Sometimes you feel dejected and you instead of still fighting for that last like chance to win, you just mm -hmm. kind of... I've, I've done it before. You just go like, ah, uh, you know. Yeah. Plus, no matter what you do, you have like a very limited chance anyway. Yeah, and you're fighting for that like extra half a percent or something, you know? But yeah, maybe you're always on. That, even you're maybe... always on for the half a percent though. I remember one time I gave up like two percent or something in a money game for a, a double that I could get. There you go, by the way. And and you were like, well, Justin, what about this number? And I go, uh, I didn't notice. All right. He should uh, hit. It's uh, oh, I'm not sure about that. Why you need to hit? No, I. I he, 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 he could have played the uh, no, seven five. Out to hit on the hit on the one, I think. I don't want to get counter prime with double fours either. By the way. No, there was a blot on the deuce pawn. He covered with a five. That was fine, yes. but I. I I wasn't sure if he needs to hit on the he needs to hit loose on the ace point. You don't want him to anchor, no? He has no timing. Okay. Oh. You make a fair point. <laughs> mm. I would do the other one. No, no, this is good. You can play two down, yeah. Level six is placed fine, yeah. Four wow. and then three in. I would do four first and then three in. This is whatever. One. Two. Three. To the ace. He could have a block and uh, six point two. Hmm. Okay. To make him in as fast as possible. Yeah, he doesn't want to roll an ace here. He wow. Won't. Double fours, okay. He's just rolling crazy. And that is the and match, that's folks. It. Hengo Nakasuka, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, how would you say his name? Uh, Nakasuka King. Nakasuka King. <laughs> Nakasuka King. There's no. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Nakasuka Kengo. You, you record a, I tried. You record a movie, but you oh, so he's uh, uh, last age? age? That's pretty good. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Okay, so how does it you got a piece of his action, Mochi? With... No. No. <laughs> Did you buy him in the sports book? <laughs> and put it in also? Nope. <laughs> no. I guess Morten gonna, you know, lays his plies now. I don't know. Yeah, right? Imagine Morton set the line on his own match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Not sure if it's allowed. Well, congratulations. That was a very strong match. Do we have any final PRs in the chat? Not that it matters, really. I mean, it's we're just, you know, it's not, we're not in a PR competition here, but we, we do like to see these things. Well, the lower the PR, the higher the chance to win. So it says it was an 8%, it would be an 8% mistake not to hit on the two point. So you got to hit. With the the numbers or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the no. The odds are on eight. No, someone's just making a guess. Don't be silly. <laughs> Don't be silly. I bet against. Yeah, I take the I take the <laughs> under. <laughs> you guys are welcome. Had a good time.
And uh, the doubles starts at 5.30 for us. So there's going to be a doubles match on stream. I don't know who it's going to be. But I'll be playing somebody. And Mochi is playing in the doubles tournament with... Uh, Why don't we interview the winner? You can do that, yeah, for yeah. sure. No, you can do that. No, no, Bill. That's Bill. Bill's good at these things. Oh, I like I to see. talk about I, the I'm game, gonna... and Bill is the the, the people oh. talker to her. You know. Hey, Tara, can we get Bill? So Morton Holm played a 3.66, according to GL Harvey, and Kengo played a 4.48, I believe. Cool. Yeah. If, sure. Um, if somebody wants to send me the transcription on Messenger and Facebook, I can forward it on. Or oh, you can send it to me too. Or you can send it to Mochi. Uh, yeah. You can send it to, yeah, and, or you can send it to me and I'll send it to Mochi, or you can send it to Mochi and Mochi can send it to me. Either way, it works. So Kengo but, uh, plays 4.4, like which at is it as well. And is he uh, coming out to be interviewed? Uh, wait, wait, where's where's Bill? B Bill, can you do the interview with Kengo? Because uh, I'm not good with asking questions to people. I'm good at answering questions. You want me to do it? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not interviewing anybody. No, Mo Mochi, you can ask questions too. The guy. Hey, oh, sure about me. Mochi, is that your phone or Justin's phone? Mochi. Mine's in my pocket. Mochi. 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 Your telephone. Oh. That uh, Tony Diamantini. Yeah. Beat Peter this time. Okay. How's Victor doing? Uh, Victor's down 11:15. My, my, my new countryman is playing Victor right now. You know? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, in, in yeah. Yeah, a little bit. We, uh, yeah. 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 Um, Justin, do you want to relate that to about the $10 and the whole how he got here? <laughs> oh, we pulled it on stream. Do you know about that? No, I didn't oh, know so about Bill, it. Bill doesn't know. He won a series of Japanese tournaments. He bought in for $10 and won a free entry and trip to Monte Carlo uh. by just winning and winning and winning. I guess the prize pool ended up being worth over like 5,000 euro or whatever to come. <laughs> and That's now he's the... in what, the final eight or 16 of this tournament here? So final like the, final like, eight. It's, it's like the yeah. Well, story, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great <laughs> story. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And it's uh, maybe some of y'all didn't hear it earlier. Justin was just relating to me. Uh, Kingo won uh, a number of qualifiers in Japan and just, just kept accumulating and ultimately uh, was the grand prize winner, I guess you would say. And it paid for a trip to Monte Carlo and yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. making yeah. making good of it. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... Uh, I guess you're you're thrilled. You're excited. Oh, yeah, very excited. Absolutely. And uh, Morton Holmes, a, a great, well-known player over yeah, yeah, a long yeah, yeah. time. Uh, so yeah, very, yeah. very. For example, I I really excited to meet with uh, uh, Jizuka or great Derek Seaman or Mark Olsen. Yeah, yeah. I was very excited yeah. to meet meet with them and uh, talk talk to each other and. Uh, uh, Take a photo. <laughs> now, who I was looking here. Let's see, who do you play next? You know, uh, da, 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 where's Kingo? Oh, you play the winner of uh, the stream one match. Oh, okay, okay. And that is that, uh, stream one is still, still ongoing, yeah, it's still ongoing, I think. Uh, oh, well, it's at Rogers 14 13, so it's uh. Very close match, so yeah. that'll be a good match. That's yeah. 10 p.m. tonight. Okay. Uh, now you told me you'd been playing what five or six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, have uh, improved uh, considerably, and a lot of your Japanese countrymen are are doing very well. So yeah, it's I mean, not surprising yes. maybe to see uh, yeah. see other guys come up, huh? Well, that's uh, that's great. We just wanted to 
say hello to you, let some of the people put a face with the name and the victory, <laughs> and we wish you the very best tonight. Yes, I, I, yes, I'm very excited, so I'll do the best for, for next match. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Kingo. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take down stream two till 2200 tonight. Stream one, we will have a doubles match at 530, which is, what is that, 40 minutes from now. At 1730, we'll have a doubles match on stream one. Stream two will be taken down and... Uh, then we'll have two of the, what would that be? Eight, uh, two of the quarterfinal matches tonight at uh, 2200. So talk to y'all in a bit.